Hey everybody, um, we are back with our fourth lot package. Um, I've also gotten a lot of emails from lot this month, which I will tell you what they say at the end of this. So if you want to know what might be coming forward in the future, um, check that out at the end. Meanwhile, let's open some stuff. Now, I'm not entirely certain what's going to come in this because this is the last thing that I have any sort of hint of what's coming. And even the one that I was looking at of somebody who'd gotten it before, um, they were getting their fourth one in December or January and it had a sweatshirt in it and it is currently like end of June. This is my July package. So I don't know what all of that is going to be in here. So we'll find out. Woo. Again, lots of recycle packages. It's not all wet this time. It did not rain today. So we are going to start with this one because that's the one that I picked up first. So we shall see what it is. We have something. Again, rubber bands. Wrapped in a tight little ball. Ooh, we've actually come out with a bra! Yay! Um, it is a shelf bra. This is one of the ones that I just blatantly guessed in terms of underwear. Um, so we're definitely gonna have to try this on and see uh, if see how that works. Let's say um, it's definitely on the more questionable sizing in since it's just small, medium, large, extra large, and that's not usually how boob measurements work. Anyway, we'll try that one on later. Next up, we've got this big one. Again, I really kind of miss the um, little mysterious packaging notes that come along with them. But, you know, saving the earth and all that. Now, this is a sturdy something. We do have our bigger Velcro, bigger Velcro boy on here. Um, ooh, I think these might be replacement pants. These are replacement pants. So these are a 36. So I shall try them on as well and see if they fit any better than 35s for me. So we'll see how that goes. It looks like they might do a little bit better. They're a little bit wider, so it might be distinctly more comfortable for me. We shall see. All right. Next up, I get the feeling this one's a toothbrush. I think we might uh, end up with a trend on this. I am correct. It is our toothbrush. So good. I can rep <laughs> I can throw out the ones from last month then. Um, so that's always fun. I get the feeling after a while, a lot of the ones that repeat, um, I'm just gonna rip open and then be like, yes, it is back. Um, because if you really wanna see what all is going on, you can look at previous videos. Um, likewise, I think this is socks. We are back to the, come on, baby Velcro. Uh, come on, done. Yes, we are back to socks. I think I'm going to stick with these socks unless they come up with something else um, because these are the ones that I seem to like best. So I'm gonna stick with these. And if y'all have other preferences, you all go to town with that. Um, but meanwhile, you can go back to the first video and take a look at those. Um, we also have a small thing. I get the feeling that this is floss. Wow. Yes, indeed it is. This one, by the way, says the age of time. Um, I got the other kind of floss this time just to see which one it is. Um, this one I think is the wax floss. So it is slightly smoother than the other one. Still smells of mint, but only a little bit. Um, 
So I think I might stick with this floss, um, the smoother floss. The other one was a little fluffy um, because sometimes my teeth have trouble getting floss in between them. So I think something thinner like this will probably work a little bit better. Um, I will try and get that closer so y'all can see. It's floss. Um, but yes, so if you also have teeth that tend to avoid the floss, this kind might be a little better. Meanwhile, uh, a something. Again, with the big old Velcro that I have to open somehow. Ugh. There we go. Much better. Going a lot with the uh, larger ones this time. And I think, yes, this is actually a sweatshirt. Woo, okay. This one on here, it also does have the 2046 embroidery on it but it is still all in black it does have my name on it and it is an exceptionally large sweatshirt because i like my sweatshirts large so we are going to try on this we're going to try on the pants and we are going to try on the bra and see if uh how those fit so yeah this one's an extra large so we'll see how that goes all right i will be right back after i put these on Alrighty, we are back um, with more lot stuff. Um, we've got some good things, we've got some not so good things. Good thing first, I love the sweatshirt. This is an extra large. Um, the hands are much longer than I am, um, but I like my sweatshirts ridiculously big, and this one is nice. Um, the inside of this, see if I can roll this out. It's not exactly the fuzziest thing in the world, um, but it's good for like, I can tell if I go inside someplace in the winter, it's still going to breathe. So, you know, if those of you who are like up in the frozen north, this should not be your only layer. Um, you know, I live in Virginia and this will probably do really well in the winter months, which hovers like, 20 degrees below freezing ish so there is that um it does look like this i will show you the back so that you can see Ta -da! now um i'm going to show you the bra first because my issues with the pants you can see better without the gigantic sweatshirt on so <coughs> fun with a bra the bra is kind of terrible and I hate to say this, but it is true. Um, it does have the wide elastic band around the bottom, which if you have trouble with things sitting here and rolling up or down, this is gonna do it. Um, the back of this is fairly low, which I do like, which means you can wear low back things. But the thing that's, okay, but there are two things that break this for me. Thing one, there's not a lot of support going on up here. I will admit I am a 34 triple D or an E depending on what sizing you're using. But I need some support and this is not really giving me a lot of that. Sad face. Thing number two, these shoulder straps are going to annoy the bejesus out of me because they are set up so that in theory they should sit maybe right here-ish, but by that point they're just going to fall off of my arms and it's not going to go well. Thing number two, they immediately start rolling. Immediately. I cannot sit there. So I'm going to see if I can show this to you. I'm going to put this very, like, so it's laying flat. As soon as I move, it rolls just as soon as I do anything like that is what happens like I need to be able to move my arms and I cannot do this in this bra it is going to annoy the crap out of me do you see that it is it is doing it constantly so like I can't reach down to grab something because immediately 
it's going to start rolling off. So unfortunately, the bra is going to have to do some redesigns before I really can use it at all, um, ever, for anything, you know. Because normally I'd say something like this, okay, maybe not like structural support, but if I'm wearing one of those like cute sheer things and I need something to cover myself, this might be great. But if, if the straps are doing this crazy rolly thing, uh-uh, terrible. Which brings me to the pants. The pants, again, are really, really um, tight in the butt. And I will show you what I mean. What I mean is this. My butt can fit in these, which is great, but I can fit both of my hands into the waistband of my pants. This is not great. This is not a great setup for my pants. So I like something that fits in the butt and also in the waist. I really would not like a plumber's crack in my pants. That is a good... That much space? Like a good inch and probably like two inches like an inch and a half two inches like that is some solid that is some solid space in the back there and that's not great I mean I'm probably still gonna wear them because I'm lazy and they're pants but I'd really love it if they fit um, Upside, I can put my hands in my pants though. I can carry things in my pockets. Um, ah, the joys of dude pants. Um, although for some weird reason, yeah, they have sewn this one shut, which I'm going to have to get undone. And the one with the button, let me double check that they have actually, that that is still a thing, yes. That is still a pocket back there. So the right hand pocket I will have to open. But yes, um, so better on the pants, but doesn't quite fit right and the bra is just going to annoy me. So sweatshirt. Um, okay, one more thing that before I go because I noticed them after I took off the pants. On the inside, pardon my ridiculous light here, it's so you can see. On the inside of the pants, right along the waistband, so front edge right here, they've got elastic right here. And if you look on the inside, they've got elastic down here as well, so that the pants can actually like expand a little bit. Is this normal for dude pants? Do dudes just have elastic in here so you can just like gain a few pounds or lose a few pounds you don't have to just rebuy your wardrobe is this normal because girls don't have this this is not a new thing this is not a thing for girls but it needs to be and if this is normal i'm not only jealous of the fact that you have pockets that you can actually hold things with but you have little elastic things as well we're the ones who monthly change how much we weigh why don't we have this what dude pants dude pants all right, so a couple of emails that I have gotten from Lot. Um, they say they are working on things, and um, so this is what they are telling me. Um, they have said that their t-shirts and their sweatshirts, they have adjusted to be bigger. Um, so I think this sweatshirt is now representative of their larger sized sweatshirts, which thumbs up from me. Um, they also had a meetup on June the 20th in LA. Unfortunately for me, that is nowhere nearby me, <laughs> otherwise I would go. Um, alas, that is on the opposite coast from me and I'm not dropping like $600 for plane tickets, especially not at the last minute, so that was out. If any of you were there, please tell me how it went, maybe leave a comment, that would be great. Um, now, 
The last thing that is going on is they have implemented this thing called Ghost, where for a while now they've had you take your measurements and post them on your particular lot loading page, your slash me page. Um, which is great, but they haven't really been doing anything with it. So they've sent uh, an email to everyone who signed up saying, hey, we're going to start looking at that and hopefully we are going to start tailoring your clothing, which would be fantastic because hopefully it will fix that like gappity doo -dah in the back of the pants that I was just showing you like two minutes ago. Um, so hopefully that will help with that. The other things um, that they sent out was like, hey, we'd love to know what didn't work for you in the clothing. Like, are you getting this and you just, something isn't working for you? So things that I have told them are, um, they could really expand out their shoe sizing um, because they go down to a men's size seven. Um, which I know for a lot of ladies, that is just way too large. I can just barely make it into that with a ladies nine. Um, so supposedly they, when they sent an email back, they said it's going to go down to a men's six. So hopefully that will take it down to supposedly a ladies 7.5. So hopefully that'll get at least more people into the shoes um, on that end of things. Um, likewise, I also told them like, hey, I'm at the top range of your pants. <laughs> so um, hopefully they will take that and expand the pants out larger. It's, is it hilarious to me that like, you're either going to get the shoes or the pants and not both of them? Like, unless you're me, I don't know. <laughs> you are, are you exactly me sized? Great. Um, anyway. Um, yay, being average? I don't know. Um, so yes, supposedly that is a thing that is going to happen. I'm also going to email them back, now that I've tried all these on, tell them my issues with the bras um, and my issues with the pants. Um, so hopefully those things will get fixed as well. Um, so that is their updates lately, and hopefully this means that the next time that pants roll around, they'll have fixed it, or they'll be working on fixing it. So thumbs up, and I will catch you next month.